We start, however, with the news that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and four other 9-11 suspects will be tried in federal court in New York City. U.S. Congresswoman Donna Edwards, a Democrat from Maryland, Republican Congressman Michael McCaw of Texas, is a member of the Homeland Security and Foreign Affairs Committee. Mr. McCaw, I want you to start. What would you have done had you been president and had to make this decision along with the attorney general? Where would you try these Wait, first, guys? Or would you not try I think them? It's a, well, first we say it's a sad day to, when the mastermind of 9-11 is brought on American soil to the very spot where 3,000 Americans were killed. Uh, if I were president for, for the day, I would have tried these uh, not as criminal defendants in the United States, but treat them as enemies of war before a military tribunal as we did in World War II. We were going and down do, that And path. what would you do with them if they were convicted? What would you do with them then? If you didn't execute them, what would you do with them? Well, I, I, it's my sincere hope that they do get the death penalty uh, in this case. Uh, but, but if they I got some other penalty, what would you do with them then? It's a tricky question. I'm answering it uh, because the whole thing's tricky. What do we do with these people? You see them as war criminals, some other people as criminal suspects. What do you do with them if they're war criminals? What do we do if this war goes on and on and on forever, basically, against terrorism? What do we do with these people? Well, again, a military tribunal, they were getting ready to go forward. The president came in, stopped the process, said we're going to close down Guantanamo Bay. Uh, we should have gone forward with these top cases uh, where the evidence I would be, would be okay, sufficient, what do we do I with think, them? to convict and get death penalty. Well, uh, if we don't get them under the death penalty, what do we do with them then? If they don't get the death penalty, well, a lot of them may not well, be guilty of the death penalty. What do we do I with was, them? I was a I was a federal prosecutor in the Justice Department. They will either get life in prison or the death penalty. Okay, the risk where would we put them? In the where would we, sir, I've asked you three times. What do we do with them if you don't execute them? I think they should stay in Guantanamo. In the, so the, keep that's Guantanamo the there. That was made. Okay, so you said Absolutely. a smart move would have been to keep Guantanamo there as a place to put uh, uh, war suspects when we convict them, execute them there. If we don't execute them there, keep them there. That's your policy. Correct. Okay, let's smart. I mean, that's a view I read. It's very clear, sir. I like clarity. Let's go to uh, Congresswoman Edwards. Your view, you've got that one view, which is to keep on Guantanamo, keep Gitmo there, prosecute them. If you can't execute them, if you get them on a lesser charge, keep them there till they, till they rot, I suppose. What are you thinking? Well, let's start, with thinking? First, let's start with first things first, Chris. I mean, first thing, I think it was the right call by the Attorney General and by the President uh, to make sure that uh, we go to trial in New York in a place where we're actually used to these kinds of prosecutions and I think you know once we go to try go through trial and there's a conviction um, it, it sounds like obviously the death penalty is on the table the federal death penalty I, I'm not a big supporter of the death penalty but that's what the law is well, what would you and, do and I think what would you and, do? no you know what that's what the law is and I think that we this is this is the the the, um, the challenge here we need to make sure that we follow our own judicial process follow our own uh, constitutional mandate try these people let the victims get their justice and the American American people get their justice, and if they're found guilty, you know they're, they're put to death under the under the law. And if it's life in prison, um, I think that we can secure can secure them even here in our borders. So you trust the uh, jury system in this regard? You would trust a jury for unanimous vote in all these cases? You know why I do? Um, because we actually have a history of federal trials and federal prosecutions for terrorism. I think something like 190 of these cases have actually been tried in the federal courts uh, with that number of convictions. And um, unfortunately, the military tribunals process, even with the revamped Military Commissions Act, actually hasn't worked. But our federal courts actually have worked. And so that's why I'm actually really glad Glad that the president and the attorney general okay. are moving forward in this direction. Let's take a look at what Rudy Giuliani is clearly thinking about running for governor of New York. He put out this statement today, quote, returning some of the Guantanamo detainees to New York City for trial, specifically Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, has now brought us full circle. We have regressed to a pre-9-11 mentality with respect to Islamic extremist terrorism. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed should be treated like the war criminal he is and tried in a military court. He is not just another murderer or even a mass murderer. He murdered as part of a declared war against the United States. Your thoughts on that, Congressman McCall. Explain to me, as a former prosecutor, the distinction between somebody who kills as part of a war and someone who just kills because they're murderers. Well, in, in the Clinton era, we, we prosecuted Ramsey Youssef as a criminal defendant. Uh, it seems like we're going back to that policy. In my view, they, these Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, these top operatives, are enemies of war and should be treated as such with the military tribunal. I completely agree with Rudy, Rudy Giuliani's assessment in this case. And the admissibility of evidence is very different in a military tribunal versus a federal court when you're dealing with intelligence. I think that's a better route. Again, are, they, are these people the terrorists enemies of war 
or are they to be treated as criminal defendants? This administration has now made its decision that they are criminal defendants to be given all the rights under the Constitution once they touch base in New York City. And not to mention the security risk that's going to be placed on a city that has been consistently a target of Al Qaeda. Let me go back to Congresswoman Edwards. Here's a problem. You get into court at a smart defense attorney. I'd think of it, and I'm not even a lawyer. This guy was waterboarded 83 times at KSM Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He, pro he probably admitted all kinds of things under waterboarding. All that evidence is tainted. It's contaminated. Even if you go find evidence elsewhere based upon that, a smart defense attorney can say it's all contaminated evidence. The f it's fruit of a poison tree or whatever, whatever the term is. And you get the guy off. Well, I actually, wouldn't, that, wouldn't, wouldn't that happen if you were the defense attorney? Wouldn't you be able to make that case that this guy admitted his guilt under torture, 183 cases of waterboarding? What kind of evidence is that? You know, they're going to be able to put up a defense, but I think I heard very clearly from the attorney general today that, in fact, there's independent evidence that he believes as a former prosecutor, as a former high-level prosecutor, uh, that will result in a, con in a conviction. Um, and I think that on this one, uh, we've got, you know, really uh, superior prosecutors who are going to take this yeah. case all the way through. And I'm actually convinced because of their record that the federal district courts and our federal judges actually can handle both the intelligence levels um, that, that we're dealing with and the trial and get a conviction. But wouldn't you, as a defense attorney, try, let me ask you, Congressman, this question. Wouldn't you, yeah. if you, forget, I know what you want to do, get these guys tried offshore and get them tried in Gitmo. That's your position. But if you were a defense attorney in New York City and you were on the other side of this fight, wouldn't you bring in Cheney? Wouldn't you bring in all the guys who supported waterboarding and nail them? Yeah, You'd use this as a show trial opportunity, wouldn't you? The first motion I file is a motion to suppress the evidence obtained through waterboarding. Uh, then yeah. I would file a, a ton of discovery to uh, find out all the classified information. You're right, regarding Cheney, regarding, and this is going to turn into a real circus. Uh, I think the military is better equipped to handle this uh, in, in a professional way. The Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office is one of the finest uh, in the country and some of the best prosecutors. But the point, the minute we put them on American soil and, the, and they get constitutional rights, uh, this will turn into a showcase, a circus. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm concerned about the security of New York City uh, and what's going to happen when these top Al Qaeda operatives uh, set foot in the United States. The majority of the American people do not want to see this happen. Well, what are you worried about there? You're worried about we can't handle a, a, a bunch of troublemakers in New York? I think the, uh, that's where I might disagree with you. Don't you think the American, yeah. uh, the police, New York's finest, can't handle a bunch of bums causing trouble? I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> we, we, can't, I, we, I, I saw, I saw, we got I, thousands I, and thousands of hardened murderers yeah. in federal prison right now. I don't buy that. Right, we got scariest people in the world in federal prison right now in maximum security. These guys, well, once they're isolated, it, it seems to me they're, they're not anywhere near as dangerous as the guys we have in prison right now in this country. Americans can be much more frightening than these guys. Well, and Chris, well, I, mean, saw, the fact I saw Khalid Sheikh, Sheikh Mohammed down in Guantanamo. That's that's another. That's very high secure. My concern about bringing him into the United States is not the security of the prison itself, but the mecca that that will create for potential uh, either homegrown okay. or Al Qaeda operatives to come to New York. And, and, and bomb things. What do you think of that, Congresswoman? The fact that we might have uh, we might have a bombing target in Foley Square, or someplace in New York, a, a courthouse Precisely. where all the the bad guys are going to come and just uh, declare a military target, if you will. You know, Chris, um, the federal courts have actually handled these circumstances before. High level security that that's required. It, it's been handled in in Arlington uh, with prosecutions in Arlington, Virginia, handled in New York in the Southern District of New York. I think our federal prosecutors and our judges are entirely capable of meeting out the justice that's deserved and that the and that the victims families deserve and the american people deserve to see um, carried out and so i'm actually uh, glad that we we've, we've moved to this point and I, I in fact think it's a step forward the military tribunals have actually only handled 3 of those of those prosecutions the federal district courts have have handled and gotten convictions in more than 190 cases they can do this we can do this okay. and our, our federal prosecutors are going to get the justice that well, victims' families deserve. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. And thank you, Congressman. By the way, one of the great things about America, no matter what side you're on in this argument, is that we have these arguments. This is a great country because we fight about this stuff. Human rights matters, even in cases of the worst people in the world. But sometimes I think we got to treat them a little tougher than we treat your average criminal. Anyway, thank you.